Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today I'm here to work on my stack of sticker for the letter S in Dear Julie Julie's April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. And for this part, we have to, sorry, I'm reading, um, we have to build stack of stickers, and the way Dear Julie Julie does this is you take a sheet of stickers. These came from Dollar Tree, and there are five stickers on a sheet. And ideally, the way she does it is she builds right on the sheet. I find that a little difficult to do because sometimes my stuff goes up and over or down and under. And it's hard to see the line of exactly where the way these are printed, it leaves the border. So it's hard to know exactly where your sticker ends. So what I've done is I took my six stickers and I put them on a sheet of freezer paper on the coated side of freezer paper. And I can build on there and just pull the whole thing up until I'm ready to put them in my journal and they peel up just like they peel off the sticker backing. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, additionally, we need stamps, which I've got here. We need scraps, which I've got scraps and cutoffs from papers I've used thus far for this journal challenge. We need songs, so I've got music paper, shred, and sentimental sentences. So what I've done is I got out my Tim Holtz uh, words, and some of them, a couple of them, are actually the rub-on words that I still have. And I put them on strips of coffee dyed paper, torn coffee dyed paper, so that will take care of my shred. So I kind of doubled up on that. And some of them may still need to be torn down a bit, but that's okay. All right, so get started right out of the bag. And basically, I'm just going to make clusters on the stickers, I do believe. So let me start out. Tearing some music paper. Probably should have torn this ahead of time, gotten it ready, so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me tear. And in fact, I think just out of an abundance of saving time and keeping you from watching me tear paper, I think I will do that. I will go ahead and tear out. I think I'll pause the video for just a second and go ahead and tear out some music paper for each of the stickers. And I will be right back. Okay, I got my paper torn, my music paper torn. And I should have done that ahead of time because I knew I needed one for each sticker. So should have gotten that ready ahead of time. Okay, so I think now what I'm, I know I want, it's not required, but I know I'm going to want a butterfly on each one and... I know I need a stamp on each one. I'm going to kind of get them gathered up and I know I'm going to need a sentence, but I may need to save that for last. Okay. So Uh, 
that might do well together. Okay. Then, okay, that one I want something under the stamp, so let's take care of that next. No. What else do I have? That would be okay. Tear this one down a bit. I'm trying not to think too hard about this because I find that in actuality I was looking back at some of my other stuff that I've made and the stuff that I feel like I have just slapped together actually I think comes out better than some of the stuff that I think long and hard about. Okay, that I like. I'm at least happier with that. Okay, so instead of giving it time to for me to become unhappy. Let's get it glued down. Because this is something that, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat, should be pretty quick and easy. I'm just going to glue this down part way because I know it's going to hang off the sticker. Okay. And grab a little bit of Fabri-Tac. a little bit of fabric tack on the back of the sticker since I'm putting it on the lace. I'll do the same with my butterfly since it's also going on the lace. All right, 
So one sticker done. Now, let's move on. To this one I really it's a small enough sticker that by the time I had my sentiment that's really going to be about All it has room for, but just because I'm me, I think I'll do that. Okay, I got my wet wipe, and while I was doing that, I was looking at what I kind of had set up on this one, and initially, I'd picked that stamp for this one, thinking it needed some color on it, but I think I actually want to keep it sort of monochromatic, and I found this little piece of scrapbook paper, And so, yeah, I think I'm going to set that up like that somehow. So, okay. Let's move on to this one. Okay, I think that color will go okay with that. These have kind of a pinkish... I think that and that. Okay. I'm digging through my scraps again to see if I have any little That's a little something. I really do not like these really long ones. I don't know what to do with them. Alright, yes, I just grabbed my gold gel pen. I've got gold in some other elements. And so I'm adding, I'm calling that one done. I don't know if that helped it or hurt it, but I did it. I really do not like, I, I like this one, and I like this one. I do not like the long ones. Okay. Next up. Okay, I'm back, and we're going to get this done. While I was away, I went ahead and made some decisions so we can get this done. So while we're doing that, tell me what you've been up to. I haven't left my house. 
Uh, of course, now my glue is goobered up. And uh, I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing anything differently. I mean, fortunately, I, for the most part, play all day. But the part that's driving me a little bit crazy is now I've been told I have to stay home. So I must admit that's. making me want to go places that I might not otherwise want to go. But beyond that, I'm doing very well, and I hope you are too. I just spend time in my craft room and wait for all this yuckiness to pass. And... Try to make the best of it. I will say I'd love to get my hair cut. I did not plan that very well. But if that's the Worst thing that happens, I have no room to complain whatsoever. So, I've been watching lots of movies, lots of YouTube. That's about it. I did finally watch the season finale of Grey's Anatomy. I had it recorded. The shows I watch, my husband doesn't particularly care for. So I record them and then watch them later. So I finally got that watched. And I'm caught up with Dancing with the Stars, so that's good. Is that gonna, I'm going to have to fabric tack that. Learn that lesson and just fabric tack this. Did I say dancing with the stars? Wow, that is not what I meant at all. I have no idea where that came from. If that's what I said, I have no idea where that came from. I meant the voice. going to cover up part of that sentence, but I'm going to leave the beneath the open sky part. I'll lift this up and wipe up that 
glue that I put right there so it doesn't get stuck to my freezer paper. Okay. So I'm calling that one good. Now, butterfly, a little bit of everything. While I'm finishing this up, I will tell you, and I apologize for this video, I'm making these stack of stickers because it is part of the challenge. I can tell you honestly, they're not my favorite thing. To me, they're... they're they end up kind of, and I'm sure it could be done differently. Of that, I'm positive. So maybe it's just the way I'm doing them that I'm not wild about. But I'd much rather make uh, clusters or something like that. which is also part of the challenge this month. So I will be doing that actually very shortly. But I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I must say my allergies have been going it's gonna have to be scooted up. Berserk just the time of year, but every time I sneeze or my nose runs a little bit or something, my my poor husband is like Are you okay? You're not getting sick, are you? No, dear, it's the same thing it is every year. It's just this year. Everybody's a little more worried about. I mean, and I can't say that I'm different or that I blame anybody. But like even going to the grocery store, honestly, uh, if I had to go, I'd be a little hesitant to go right now because, not because I'm, well, okay, aside from the fact that I don't want to encounter anyone who is sick, I'm not sick, and yet... My allergies are bad enough right now that I can't say I wouldn't sneeze. I'm just trying to be there, sure there's not Fabri-Tac under that. And, and I wouldn't want to frighten anyone else. I can't, you know, I can't say I wouldn't sneeze or maybe even cough a little bit just because of my allergies. So, I'm, I'm glad that I don't need to go to the grocery store for multiple reasons. Okay, there's my six stack of stickers. I'm going to call that done. I, it's, for me, it's kind of a bust. I'm not wild about them, but that's the best I know to do. For now with those I may add something to them later we'll see and be safe stay healthy happy crafting and I will talk to you soon bye bye